Good morning, City of David. I welcome you today to the Arise Walk for Life. This year's edition, Arise Now. We're so glad to be here. Everyone's ready, everyone's kitted, everyone's ready to exercise. Everyone is ready to arise now. I welcome you once more to this week's edition of the COD News. My name is Michael, but before we go on, let me take you through the activities of the week. It was a busy day for the Arise Women as they kicked off their tour for this year's Arise Women's Conference on Thursday, the 11th of October, making their first stop at Queen's College, Yaba, Lagos. Here, they donated a generator to the Rebecca's Room, a room dedicated for the visually impaired students of the school. This was a continuation to what they did last year when they equipped the room with computers and braille printing machines. The other girls of the school were not left out as free medicals were provided for them. The Arise women also made their second stop at Suras Sangros Market of Balende, where the market women welcomed them with songs and dances, thanking the Arise women for their previous deeds. Little did they know, the Arise women came bearing gifts. Indeed, they lit up in joy and praises, thanking God for the Arise women, and they were all ignited, triggered to join the walk for life. We thank God for a busy and successful day. During the Digging for Gold service last Tuesday, we studied about how the Holy Spirit changes, transforms our lifestyles into new ones. Here are some highlights. Changing into the image of Christ. So can we have one or two people that will tell us what has changed? What has changed? The Bible says that if you are in Christ Jesus, all things have passed away. And behold, all things are new. So, what has changed in your life? I used to be very, very aggressive. Then when I gave my life to Christ, I discovered that aggression disappeared. Then uh, sometimes when somebody offends me, there are many people who know me very well before. They will be wondering that, ah, this guy has really changed. Doesn't fight anymore. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So you are a gentleman now. You are a gentleman. What's your name? What's your name now? My name is uh, Frederick Michael. Babson. Frederick, you are a gentleman. <laughs> Frederick, you are a gentleman. Gentleman, 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 gentleman. Frederick, you are a gentleman. One more time, Fedri, you are a gentleman. One more time, Fedri, you are a gentleman. Hey, gentleman, 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 gentleman. Fedri, you are a gentleman. Let's clap for Fedri, give hallelujah. So why not join us next Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. here in the sanctuary as we continue our studies on the Word of God. Ladies, you don't want to miss out next Wednesday. Come along with a friend for another insightful time here in the sanctuary from 12.30 p.m. The Networks Business Club is organizing a three-day digital summit aimed at helping entrepreneurs to be able to reach large audiences about their business and exposing SMEs to the ever-evolving enterprise business solutions driven by technology. The time is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily. The venue is the incubator located at 7 and 8 Yesufu Abiodun Way off COD Road, Victoria Island, Lagos. A movie, This Is Our Time, will be airing in the next gen tent by 6 p.m. on Friday the 19th of October 2018. Please come as we enjoy this experience together. Right. Hooray! Hooray! Arise Women is 10. The convener of Arise Women, Pastor Mrs. Siju Iluyamade, invites you to the 10th anniversary of the annual Arise Women's Conference, a program for both single and married women. Theme, Arise Now! Psalm 12 verse 5. Guest speakers are Michelle McKinney-Hammond, Pastor Mrs. Aretayo Adetola. Guest artists are King Sunny Ade, Nathaniel Bassi, Joma Jesus, Adewale Ayuba, Tokwe Alabi, Pastor Kole Ajayi, Frank Edwards, and Rukala Beckers. There will be free medical outreach, free eye tests and distribution of glasses, free transportation at different locations. Also, there will be free lunch and loads of gifts for all. Date, Saturday 27th October 2018. Time, 10 a.m. Venue, ICC GCT of David. 1. COD Church Road, Didiolu Estate, Victoria Island, Lagos. Arise Women's 10-year anniversary as a program for both single and married women don't miss it jesus christ is lord
about 7 a.m. We all gathered here in our kits, in our rice shirts and caps, all ready to exercise. We had a warm-up session where we all stretched and we all danced. We got our blood flowing, we got our hearts pumping, ready to begin the walk. And then by about 8, 8.30, as we left Echo Atlantic, Victoria Island, Lagos, setting out across Adetokumbo at Demola Road, all the way down Echo Hotel, connecting to Akin Adeshola and Ozumba, and by the way, we connected down, we all sang praises, we moved around, we walked together as a family, as a group, as a community, praising God and just happy, rejoicing, walking for life. As we completed our seven kilometer walk, everyone was excited, everyone was happy, everyone was still filled with so much energy. We danced and we sang and we had best dancers. We had people filled with so much energy who couldn't even stop the dancing after the competition was over. And here is one of our winners who came out with a brand new mobile phone. And we also had the opportunity to speak to our host, our convener, our pastor, Pastor Shiju Iliomade. And she had a few things to say about the Arise Walk for Life. It's been awesome, really wonderful. And I think um, the whole concept of the walk, which is a health awareness walk, is catching on. So we are, we are not unmindful of the fact that people are, are beginning to realize the importance of taking care of themselves. And it's everywhere. In the church, if you like, you can pray from now till tomorrow. But then my Bible tells me that Paul had to say to Timothy, a little wine for the body. That means there was a need for health care at some point. So something extraneous was added to the ministry. During the walk, we also had the opportunity to speak to our very own Pastor ID on his delightfully publicized six-pack. Yeah, we are. We are walking for life. What would you say to those people that want to have your six-pack but they are still at home at this time? I don't know about them. Maybe they'll try next year. I told them, check me out. You can see it. Coming up, man. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Yeah. So many people think age and time play a hindrance on exercise. But here's what these people had to say. They should come out and enjoy with us. It's needed for our health. They shouldn't be lazy. Well, then I think it's very, very simple. We don't need to, uh, you know, wait uh, until the doctor tells us that we're dying in a couple of months or if we don't uh, jump into the gym or try to, uh, you know, lose some fat, we're going to have some health problem. I think it's something that you should embrace. It's re rejuvenating the fact that, uh, first of all, it's a wellness um, exercise, a wellness work, and then the fact that you're meeting people, women of God, walking together for one common goal, cause, and... It's pretty much exciting. I look forward to it every year. So We thank God for the success of this Arise Walk, and we hope that the coming Arise Women's Conference, holding on the 27th of October, will be a massive success as we empower ourselves to arise now. I see we've actually had a fantastic time today. We've run, we've walked, we've jogged, we've exercised. We feel much, much better, more refreshed. And at this note, we're doing our warm down exercises right now. But we pray that as we've energized ourselves today, as we've walked, we pray that the Holy Spirit would also empower us for this new week, this new month, in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the city of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true. Where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today.